Now, a renovation and layers um, uh, can both be used for managing design options. So our tip of the week is going to kind of go through this uh, the managing design options. So there are three methods to basically save a, um, uh, 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 an option, right? So if you're going in Archicad, you're working in schematics, you want to create different design options for um, different ideas you have. One is to still simply do a save as. A lot of people do this to simply create different, uh, um, different models that they save as from Archicad. So each model is, you know, a different, or I should say each um, design option is a different file that you've saved into your system and that works just fine. Uh, obviously it means that if you make certain changes uh, that you want in all options, then you need to remember to copy and paste each of those because it's not done automatically. But you can simply save three different, or however many different design options you want as individual files. You can also use layers. It's a very common method people have used for years. You simply create uh, layer uh, layer combinations, so like option one, option two, option three, save that, create views, and then it gets saved with those views. And then of course, you can also pin uh, options using the renovation tool as well, which I'll, I'll uh, review this feature in just a second. So first is creating design options using layers. This is a really simple way of doing it using extensions. So I talked about extensions a second ago in terms of um, our renovation extensions, such as existing demo and new or EDN. You can also do the same thing with design options, right? Design option one, option two, option three. And then you simply assign those layers to uh, different design option combinations here that you want, such as facade option one, facade option two. And those simply get turned on or off based upon the selected uh, uh, combination that you have over here. And then of course, we go to save a view, you select that layer combination and that saves what's on and off for that view in terms of your design options. So in essence, the, the so steps would be first to create a layer combination, uh, such as facade option three. We then go over and select the design option three layer. And then we go to our uh, facade option three and we say uh, to update. Of course, we turn this on and make sure the others are turned off. So what you wanna do is this facade option three would have this layer on, <clears throat> would have our other design options turned off. And you would just repeat that same step for each of the other design options that you have. Now the renovation tool can also be used uh, as a method to um, manage design options and that's using the pin feature. And you can use it in combination with layers if you want as well. So the way you do that is first, of course, to go and open up your uh, renovation filter option. And of course, if you don't know, you can go to Window, Palettes, and Renovation, to open up the palette, and then Renovation Filter Options right below that. Once this is open, you go in and create Design Option filter, uh, op, uh, Filters right here. They go in, what I usually do is just go and duplicate one of the, the, the existing ones. Could be existing plan, could be show all. And then you basically type in the name. And then you're now going to have design option one, two, three, four, et cetera, within your renovation filters. Now what you want to do is just select the elements to assign to a design option. So of course you could do this in 2D or 3D, where you simply select the element. And once that element is selected, you click the pin button right here, and that pins or assigns, if you will, that particular element you've you select it to that design option that is currently selected. So in this case, if I've selected this one to assign to here, and I pin that to here, I can go over here. Now I, I go to design option two, turns that off. I now go and design a new or, or model a new design option here. I then pin that element to here. And now when I select those two, it's now going to turn them on and off based upon which one I've selected. And that is our tip of the week.